I feel like I need a I need my plushie today and we got ourselves a little flashlight a little hopefully this will keep us nice and safe and sane um I do not know anything about it. Uh, it was uh, a friend put it on my radar. They're like, hey, this might be your vibe. And it's a isometric point and click sci-fi horror game. So. I think the... You might be thinking of uh, Mendax Proxy, Neuronet, Mendax Proxy. That one we were an AI. That one was, I would definitely say that one is very much basically an AI visual novel. Which, it was fine. I don't think it really has good replayability because of its, its shtick. Um, I f felt like the plot got a little bit disjointed in the middle of it and then a little dragged on at the end. But overall, I enjoyed uh, Neuronet Mendax Proxy. It was a lot of fun. Although apparently I, I could have gotten... Apparently it has a couple possible endings. Or maybe just slight reflavoring. I feel like I'm slightly sideways, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why that happens sometimes. <laughs> um, oh, I need to get. Um, yes, I need to get there. Little credit thing, just in case, because. Uh, uh, we got, we got the, we got that little snail over here. This little, this little snail Drekkie over here. <laughs> Him's just gooping on by. <laughs> uh, made by Latoni. And I thought it would be funny. It's not the Snecky. No! Don't sneet Snecky. The snakey is for goops, not for sneeting. Um, what else did I want to say? Next, basically, we, we got like a week left before the 30th. A week and a day. So, I'm um, going to finish patching up the, the void rift so we can not be yeeted. Because I feel like that would be... Yeah, I, I, I got to finally fix that hole. You know, it's, it's just, it just wouldn't be great if, you know, someone, you know, got sucked out of the hole on that day. Like, I'm going to, probably after today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to patch up that hole. <laughs> uh, but I think I've got everything sent out. I got the got access to those OSHA manuals telling me I should have walkways and like guardrails around extra dimensional rifts in reality. Uh, who knew that protective measures should be taken? All right, do I have everything? I think I set it up. So let's fire up the game. I hope your week has been good, Vox. I am certainly extremely happy uh, to be done. There we go. But I don't see game noises. That could just be because... Nope, I don't see any game noises. Alright, OBS. Be like that you do, I see. There is definitely menu music. Let me just, let me just Jimmy uh, OBS real quick. There we go. Sounds appropriately ominous and spooky, but it 
feels kind of loud. Um, do we not have a volume game? No shot. Yeah, it's definitely some sound design. Also, I love... This is a really interesting menu screen. So we've got... We're basically, like, over the horizon of a planet. And we can see, like, there's a storm going on below us. Very, very aesthetically pleasing situation. Oh, thank you for the head, Bats Aurora. Um, I... I feel like the audio is kind of loud as shit. Maybe in game there's going to be a sound slider. If not, I'm going to have to probably go out and do some adjustments in OBS itself. And also my own sound system because it is pretty loud. Without a family, man, alone in the dark, trembles with the cold. Andre Merois. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen a game that doesn't give you a audio slider? All right, dramatic violin. I don't know who Chris Christopher Bershoff is, so that means nothing to me. Oh, it's Neptune. I do have this shtick of letters going really long-wise. <laughs> Something lake? Ooh. Ooh, that's some spaceships! Oh, it even has some hair, it looks like. <laughs> You know, spaceships require a lot of power, alright? So they're all wired. Now the question is, are, are those cables because we're towing something? Or are we... I feel like it's because the ship is towing something. But I feel like you could have a much better connector. I am loving the spaceship, though. I, I, I do love me a good, nice, blocky, greeble spaceship. It's got that kind of gritty, brutal, functionality first kind of thing. Brutalist. Nicholas Burstoff. Wait. Is this, this entire game made by the Burstoff family. Created by Christopher Burstoff. Narrated by Nicholas Burstoff. Ooh. We got a person. Question is this us or is this still the Oh, we got our little Matrix spinal thingamabobs. Hopefully that wasn't painful. <coughs> yep, that is us. All right, we got our guy. Welcome to the Game Corporation Stasis Blood Suit. Please hold still while your biometric scans are completed. We fucking zombie ass. 
Oh. oh, we are not doing well. Extreme muscle atrophy. Danger of heart failure. Danger of pneumothorax. Thanks, robot! Seek immediate medical attention. Gee, sure. Medical data storage is damaged. Formatting quantum storage device. No! Slug suit quantum storage device is ready for physical record storage. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is giving me... This is giving me some, uh... Uh, uh... We do not have a volume thing. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of tweaking on that before we progress because there's no way I can handle the audio being that loud. But it's it's uh, giving me uh, 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 what is that old game? Uh, I'm like Fallout's kind of that same thing, but I'm thinking more. Um, shoot, it had it had a recent. Spiritual remake. Uh, was it Torment? Torment something. Planescape. Planescape Torment. Bada bing, bada boom. Obviously, it doesn't have a as amazing of a question out the gate, but it's still. You know, it has that that isometric. That I, I certainly am seeing where that the isometric point and click is gonna is coming in. So far, I'm here with it. All right, so I need to turn down the volume of that game specifically. My question is, if my volume mixer is turning it down, shoot. Turning it down for my speakers, but not my headphones. Hmm, don't like that. All right, so I can fix it for y'all. I guess I'll just need to turn it down for me. And everything else will just have to deal with being softer. So let me make a note of... Actually, you know what? I'll just make a filter that lowers the sound. Um, give it a negative gain, basically. Get like a negative 3 dB? I think that maybe should make it a little bit more good for y'all. All right, it's not it's not bumping right up against the limiter, the audio limiter I have for it anymore. Uh, let me know if it's still too loud for y'all, at least in in comparison to like me speaking, like my normal speaking voice. I'm certainly not gonna. I am certainly not going to scream over the game before however long we play. <laughs> hey, Camlin, Buongiorno. You come in right as we're starting. Um, so far, not good. We're not doing good. Game's still pretty loud. All right. I can just up the compression. Especially expecting loud noises. That is a good point. Hmm, is that actually doing anything? I feel like it's not actually doing anything. All right, what if I just straight up do that? Just remove that. That's negative six. I mean, I do have a compressor and a limiter, so it's like it's not gonna go over. It's more of like trying to get a good ambient. Am I adjusting OBS? Yeah, I have to adjust it in OBS, I believe, because there's not a in sound thing in here. I was basically trying to adjust it before it gets to the compressor and then the limiter. 
was my idea. Invert po the fuck is invert polarity? No, not that. Let's take a few more DBs off the top, I guess. Alright, that's a lot lower. Alright. How's that uh how's that working out for people? Smeared pool of some dark, sticky, congealed substance. Hmm. Might be pipe goop. The thing that we were in. This isn't my ship. That's not my ship! Ah shit! They put me on a new ship! Also, uh, we're in a plug suit, so presumably we're gonna have to go get in the Ava. Uh, don't know where they store the Avas, but looking forward to whenever that is. Subject, Marachek J. Batch number, 165 Alpha 8. Status, Cryostasis interrupted. Ah, title drop already. <laughs> Get in the P PTSD hole, Shinji. Inside the glass tube, a corpse hangs like a grotesque puppet, tangled in the pipes and wires that had once provided it life. It is now no more than a lifeless husk. All right, all right. I think the writing's doing a good job so far. My, my heart. Yeah, the arrhythmia. Immediate medical attention. Thank you, robot. I'm sure I'm fine. I'm busy reading. Anderson S. Batch number 165 Alpha 4. Status cryo tube malfunction. Please see maintenance. Oh, wait, that was 165A4. 165A8. Oh, I don't have to walk too close. I can just mouse over. So that one's offline. A horrifying face is pressed against the glass of this pod, its skin pulled taut over its bones. Oh. Hmm. Mm, I think this one woke up when their when their cryo tube malfunctioned. So that's not great. This one is offline. Yikes. The contorted body inside this pod is suspended in a thick amber fluid that distorts its features. Oop, cryotube malfunction. Alright. Things are not going very good. Oop. Operator. Operator! Operator! The only sound in the room is the hiss of static from its monitors. Their flickering light illuminates the leather chair. The cracks in its surface evident even beneath the shroud of dust that covers it. Oh, dust. Mmm. Sounds like uh, they might have forgotten about us. Increased heart rate detected. Automated medical care systems are non-functional. Please seek medical attention. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> heart rate increase. Fucking exerting myself, of course the heart rate's going up. Ah, great, the alarms are going off. Just what I want to hear. Ooh, the shadows from a slowly spinning fan move lazily across the floor grates. What was that sound? Oh! I don't think we're doing so great. Product storage? 
Wait, were, was I was I human cargo? Hmm, concerning. The chairs sit vacant, the leather split with wear along the seams and rounded edges. Corroded padding protrudes from the tears in the fabric. Words holotron projector are embossed in metal on this piece of machinery, but the screen is smashed and it looks beyond repairs. A useless robotic arm sits clamped to the desk. Ooh, we got we got a, our little our little mouse turns into a little wavy hand, little wavy little hand thing. So maybe we can interact here. See if we can check in as a product. Also, we're just going to ignore this smear of blood. Just, uh... At least the computer's working. Ah. Ghost hand. Ah! <laughs> exactly! Alright. Uh, checklist. Ooh. Stasis pod acquired. Mining transport. Orbiting Titan. Part of a long-form term terraforming operation. Reserved for Project Kitchen Knife. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Escaped from down transport between Earth and Mars. One of four stasis pods. I think eight eight was us. Personal transport ship intercepted en route to Titan Station Espenza. One of three pods. Returning luxury transport. All hands lost. One of 12 pods. Okay. I don't know if this means all of them are reserved for kitchen knife or just... I think it's just this person. When you start having, like, code names like this... Mmm. This is concerning that we just got snatched up for some black op, black site experiment. Also, yeah, the little animation of the cursor is pretty nice. Oh, the Dracky Snail! He made it up! Yeah, if all things goes well, it should loop. And better than Project Murder Knife? See? You say that, but I don't think Project Kitchen Knife is to... use them as... a test subject for a more better kitchen knife. You know? I'm also looking at these. I hate, I would hate this keyboard. Like, if you've ever seen those keyboards where they have like the elevated, like the really exaggerated elevations, that's not my vibe. I'm not okay with this. It looks more like a typewriter than like a normal electronic keyboard. At least Murder Knife tells me what it is. Exactly. No, no, see, Project Murder Knife is actually the one where we're trying to make a more economical and safe butter knife. Uh, Project Kitchen Knife is the one with the laser Bowie knife multi-murder tool. You know, it's, it's a very common confusion, and in fact, the, the, the whole reason we have the name swapped is to trick our enemies, all right? <laughs> notice. In addition to Dr. Essex, we are happy to welcome Sarah Salvatore, the new head nurse of Product Store. No. No! Do not have laughing children. This is a horror game. You do not. You do not have laughing children. Oh, God, of all the random sound effects to pull. <laughs> it was a sad day when Nurse Daniels left us for greener pastures, and she will be missed. Nope. As our cloning facility has been deemed too costly, we are happy to note that product storage has now been upgraded to a level 6 facility. We are now the number one supplier of human specimens to the entire facility. After the unfortunate incident in product storage 2, we will be undergoing regular upgrades and maintenance, starting with a new lockdown and security system. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. Ah, cloning's too expensive, so now we're using real people. Hmm. Hmm. Murder Knife is made by the company who knows it's evil, but is punch clock evil. Kitchen Knife is evil, but pretends they are. Oh, okay. 
Two weeks ago, a false security lockdown occurred in product storages two and three. Kane Corporation has terminated operations on both floors until a cleanup crew can evaluate the situation. We regret to report that 17 crew deaths and the exp expiration of 12 unopened products has occurred due to the emergency venting procedures. Hmm. I see. That's... Great. Bright blood streaks the floor in a wide swath, as if someone has been dragged or slowly crawled away. Hard to tell whether it came from or went towards the infirmary door. Products are cloned bodies. I don't think they're cloned bodies anymore. I think I'm the real me. I don't think this is a Soma situation. Mmm. Stay closed. Stop it. Uh, yeah, cloning was too expensive. They used to make clones, so this is definitely some kind of human experimentation of some flavor. A tangle of long discarded and moldering bed linens lies in this infant crib. Well, hmm, hmm, concerning. Why clone a human when you can just grab one for free? Exactly! I'm sure it is for some innocent purpose. Uh, I don't think that AI is doing very well. They should be making people. Fuck! I wonder if that's part of the cloning. You know, they, like, clone them and their babbies, and then they rapidly grow to maturity? Also, welcome on by, General Custer. Ooh, a breaker box. Here's to be an electrical distribution panel for the infirmary power grid. There's numerous circuit breakers for powering systems in the infirmary. Yeah, that, that AI sounds like it's, uh, it's kind of on low power mode. Mechanical ventilator stands motionless. An attached tracheotomy tube is encrusted with greenish-brown substance that dried up long ago. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, we have a reaction. Alright, so we got life support, power, robotic surgeon, dockmate scanner. Alright, I'm thinking we're not going to be able to turn all of them on. I think they're going to... Yep. I think we can only have one item powered at a time. Let's turn on the dockmate. And... All right, let's get ourselves scanned. Guys, my Furby's running out of battery. Oh, <laughs> you need to feed it more. No, no, not the horror Furbies. This equipment provides a medical diagnosis of a specimen through a non-invasive scanning procedure. Treatment is administered through a nanite solution drug cocktail that is delivered intravenously. Sounds good. Get ourselves scanned. Doc made scanner active. All right, Doc, fix me up. Multiple injuries detected. Emergency medical kit created. The night solution, anticoagulant, and morphine. Hey yo! Suggested. Hey yo! We got that morphine. Thank you for using DocMate systems. Have a nice day. Non-invasive, delivered intravenously. I mean, would you prefer the medical to be assessed by slicing you open and be like, all right, our little robotic arms, we're gonna personally massage all of your organs to assess them. 
Love the delivery of an have a nice. It is the perf like that robot nailed exhausted office worker uh, tone of voice. <laughs> Just have a nice day. <laughs> it's like I have to say this. It's part of the script. Just fucking I'm doing the thing. You know it. Just fucking let's get on with our let's get on with everything. All right, so let's um, grab that medical kit with all of our medication. No, nope, stop it. I don't like that screaming noise. Ooh, oh, we're holding items. Empty hypodermic syringe, Docmate systems mixture. All right, so now we have this, and then we use it on ourselves. Deep breath. Oh, don't like this. Yeah. Uh. But, but, Dad, Sammy said that if you had bad dreams and you can't wake up that, you'll be stuck in them forever. Well, I'll have a good talk to Sandy's parents. But is it true? Becca, don't worry, you won't have any dreams for the entire trip. But if you do, just squeeze Teddy, and I promise they'll go away. Now legs up, lay down. All right, so we're getting to this, our family is there getting to the go. stasis pod. Sweet dreams, my girl. No, wait, sing it. Sing the song. No, Jones. not the song. Looks like we have a song to sing. No! Go to sleep, my baby girl, in your... So drift away, sleepy head. Dream of us, and you will see. Monsters can't harm you or me. Close your eyes. Oh, the guy's no longer singing. And worry no more. Stars and the moons, they will pass us. By soon. One of these two is much more invested in the song. Upon you and me. So go to sleep, my baby girl, in your own bed. Soon you will rise again. So drift away, sleepy head. You know, you could have just told her that we're gonna have so many drugs in our system. Yes. Squeezing Teddy seemed a little more comforting than you'll be in a drug and. Just tell the kids you're you're pumping them full of drugs. They'll be fine. All right, our uh, our character is a little Rebecca. blunt. It's, it's, my, my wife, my child. Oh it's man, awesome. that morphine really here. kicks, eh? All right, so we had a creepy song. It's definitely not going to come up anywhere else in the game, I bet. We're gonna be flying sky high, Becca. You don't even know. All right. I've got to see if I can do anything with the others. Hey, robot. Where can I find some pants? Well, I'm basically in a onesie with my uh, my plug suit. Ooh, surgery logs. Cranial bone, cranial bone extraction for Sigma Labs. Oh, oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's fine. Last surgery completed before Spec Ops surgery lockdown. Product expired during surgery, but bone extraction was successful. No, no, really, you think? Yeah, you think? <laughs> Does the onesie have pockets? I mean. 
Would you consider a slot along your spine that has a sort of, perhaps one may describe, syringe-like hole count as a pocket? If so, yes. I have three. <laughs> Additional notes. The neural drill is stuck again. Every time I try to change it, the arm retracts. Please get maintenance down to fix it. The bo boogeyman's gonna steal my femur. I mean, apparently they're harvesting bones. I don't know where harvesting, like, people's skulls helps in whatever scientific experiment, but this is apparently some hell... the fucking serious kitchen knife they're trying to make here. Okay, we got neuro drill. You got organ extraction. Can I like grab it? Um, what about skin harvesting? Alright, what about spinal tagging? Hmm. There's a lot of buttons on there. I feel like we will be backtracking here with some other items. Alright. Let's trip the breaker and turn on life support. I feel like life support is a good neutral option. Just in case. Um, we have an empty hypodermic syringe. Cool. Okay, so let's go back to exploring now that we're almost die. Life support be lawful good. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. Attention. Due to the threat of external contamination, a security lockdown is in order. Please meet at your closest administration office for further instructions. Oh, external contamination. I see. That's fine. Dried blood trails downward from the countertop. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. I don't I don't like goopy walls in my spaceship. I do I, I'm 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 vibing with the ambiance. Fire and layer of dust and leaking oil underneath. The loader appears to have been unused for a long time. Hmm. Damn it. Floor lights. All right. Code 5449, level lockdown. Security lockdown? Must be why there's nobody here. Maybe they were evacuated. What if in that intro cutscene that isn't cables? That's like something attached itself to the ship. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Who needs sleep? I just Juca Cola. Is everyone? It's even nuclear green. Space squid? More likely than you think. Hmm, this computer seems to have better days. You can see all sorts of wires everywhere. 
Let's see, Robert Freely. What the fuck? What is with that radio? Hold on. Oh, it is a radio. <laughs> Ted says meat. Yum yum yum. Yum yum yum. <laughs> Alright. No! Shut the fuck up, radio! I don't love Juca Cola! Alright. Turn off the radio! Oh, alright. That's gonna bug me. Anyway. Security told us 14 days ago they'd be rewiring the lockdown systems. So for two weeks, we've had to deal with random system shutdowns. Two days ago, Peters was locked in the bathroom while it flooded, and we only got him out this morning. I'm just thankful that this happened last Tuesday, when hydroponics had the screw-up with the poison mushrooms, or we would have been painting the walls of the elevators in transit to crew the level. <laughs> well... We've been locked in a room by security with all these psychedelic mushrooms as food. Time to go on a trip, everyone. Maintenance is down here for a final rewiring of the lockdown systems. It's all working, except they cross the wires with central product storage. Every single time a leak is reported in the storage tanks, the system resets instead of auto-sealing the leak. It's nothing we can't deal with in the short term, all right, um, I'm actually gonna get a notepad. I feel like I might need that. All right, so... Leak in storage... Lifts... Lockdown... Get a juke and whiskey mixer for just 100 credits of the TV Twister. The new doctor in charge of cracking pods has complained about the surgical bot. Something about the tool selection. Hold him just log a complaint with the maintenance like the rest of us and hope something happens. He's not impressed. I spoke to Sarah Salvatore, nurse in product storage, about getting some of the new personnel to help with the opening of the new stasis pods. Last nurse nurse left due to emotional stress. I guess she had a breakdown when they cracked open a pod and there was a kid inside. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be grim if we find out, like, our family has already been used for whatever the experiment is. Wait, did that say we have viruses and we need you to combine them in interesting ways? Yeah, we got germs. We got delivery systems. Oh, jeez. Alright, falsify a leak and I'll reset it. Bathrooms are now in working order. Okay, so we've got a new door. Get through maintenance. I things it out. The last truly great company Emergency glass box. Ooh, are we gonna get a weapon? It's kind of a awkward way our character walked to get there, but okay. Inside, a note in the empty emergency box reads, Due to budget cuts, 
The fire axe has been replaced with this note. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That is not good. I do not think that's up to code, my friends. Oh, I can see that Kane Corporation really cares about its people. All right, we need to... Why did you pick something up? I just wanted you to flush. What did we pick up? Wet, dirty towel. Great. Oh, wait, maybe we need to put the, the wet towel in storage. And that will trigger the lockdown to reset. Then I think with lockdown reset, we can take the elevator down. Warning. Air filtration system offline. Toxicity increasing to dangerous level. I see. It's stuck. Well, I s can we remove it? Come on, old man. Will this kill us? Oh. Oh, the smell. Oh, it's, it's, it's sweet. Sweet smell. Hmm. All right. So, ooh, PDA. I'm sure we'll be fine. Free Juka with every 20 punches. Only valid at the Titty Twister? <laughs> okay. Seems like these people uh, had few delights. <laughs> uh. oh, and you're here, it's about uh, 6 a.m. Absolutely exhausted. This is the most advanced scientific research ship in existence, huh? Bullshit. I've been here for only three months. Now I know why the previous guy quit. Leisure equipment, steam vents, circuit breakers. Everything has at least one serious design flaw. Not only are the coolant systems capable of failing, they're capable of at least four different types of fault. And I can only spot two of them in advance. This ship's been running for 50 years. Nobody bothered to do any upgrades. Bottom line, Casings are shoddy, and are going to need months of work to make them 100% safe. I've also pulled a muscle in my shoulder trying to rotate the pressure release valve. The bastard needs to be turned three goddamn times. Ah. Literally if I had done it one more time. Simmons volunteered to be a research subject. Something's been off with him ever since he got back from the labs. I don't want to report him to security, but I'll keep an eye on him. Fucking research departments. Can't they use monkeys like everybody else? C6 sent me down to the ass end of the ship to fix the fluid storage vats. Again! Not too long ago, other vats malfunctioned and started spraying that acidic shit all over the place. Bulkheads locked down. The entire maintenance crew dissolved. <laughs> they only found teeth. I'm not going home in a jar, so I've killed the system security lockdown. This place is a terrible place to work at! What the hell? They go through employees so fast! Oh yeah, what happened to the last teeth team? Oh yeah, they uh, they got dissolved down to their teeth. Uh, so that's why we hired you! And only one of you to replace all of them. The thing so much as pisses that acid in my direction, the system will reset all the security procedures. Safety first! Oh, oh, that's genius. So the fact that 
Liquid's uh, reset security is um, an intentional break. Because this dude's like, fucking, I ain't gonna get melted by acid. I want that security lifted. I'm getting the fuck out of there. Wait, the acid melted everything except teeth? I drink soda and my teeth are the ones that go like, yeah. Yeah, I know, isn't it? What's an ironic twist of fate? All right, so we need to use, or rather we need to pull the valve a third time. And then I think we can get into the tank to drop the ah, there you go. wet rag. Now, I thought this was going to be a wheel puzzle. Like, we'd have to take the wheel off and move it around. Ah, yes. Nothing like wet, drippy noise. Um. Alright, so there's liquid in that one. I can't see it working like that. Uh, the old standby and point and click games. Trying the item on all the things. It doesn't work like that. Thankfully, we only have six inventory slots. So I don't think we're gonna have to worry about having like 50 different items. Be like, is this what solves the problem? Well, hold on. This storage is full of liquid. One of these is. Hold on. Yeah. Sound of burbling liquid resonates within the storage tank. So how do I get it to leak? Hmm. I think I missed something. I mean, we got pressure regulation advanced. What am I missing? Hmm. The only other major thing we have to mess with is the medical drone. Looks like I can use the syringe. Don't go well together. No. Oh, we can fucking run. I just need to double click. Hmm. All right, let's try turning on the robotic surgeon. Accidentally clicked outside the game. Okay, so if I go to the robotic surgeon and get it to the arm to the extend. I use the towel on the arm. Maybe. No. <laughs> what what if I nah. Hmm. We're not dying anymore, so let's. Or at least we're in a better state. I wonder if there's anything back here. It 
steam. The humid steam gives off a sickly sweet smell as it rises. Ooh. You mentioned there was like a sweet smell inside the engineering room. I wonder if the liquid is like the, the cryogenics stasis thing. Like if that's what the 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 sleepy juice smells like. Is that sweet smell? Okay, John, just Hmm. <sighs> Can I get back there? Cannot get back there. Oh. Grab a seat. <clears throat> Contemplate what may have led us here. There has to be someone here. Someone who can help. Ooh, a glass shard. Duh, Drecky. Sweet, sleep, sleepy juice. <laughs> Alright. You have to share a brain cell, okay? We don't have enough brain cells to go around. Okay. Now I have a glass shard. Do I need to cut up the turdy towel? No. Probably not a good idea. I don't think this will fit. I think that'll just break it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think that would break. We need to trick. Where? Where do we need to put the liquid? Because it says we need to trick. Just need to. No, that's ridiculous. Hmm. I treasure my time with the brain cell. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. All right. Oh. So we need to get liquid in here. Wet, dirty towel. Where do I need to put it? To trigger the reset. That is my question. can try to make it fit, but it may break. Damn! Make that towel break the fluid tank? Well, damn! I'm hoping this isn't some extremely pixel precise click. You know what? Let's see. Let's see if there's anything we might have missed in the bathroom. Like we've got the wet item. We can get to the fluids tanks. We just can't seem to trigger the... Can't find the right place to put it to trigger. Also, what do we have the glass shard for? Maybe if it... No, no, that won't work. Metal sinks strained by the drip drip of blood. Hmm. Let me double check that log. See if it gives me an idea. Oh, 
Cost the wires, central product storage. Every time a leak is reported in the storage tank, system resets. Why is this one flickering? Can I use the glass shard, just go ape shit on it. I can't see it working. Like nope. It's gonna feel so stupid when I finally figure it out. That's always how it is in these games. I'm usually okay at them. I played, like, Myst was one of the very first games I ever played. And I played through most of the Myst franchise. Although those ones, I feel like I feel like there's a very distinct difference between um, the missed point and click and then some of the other point and cli clicks like, uh, was it like Monkey Island? Um, what's that company? I think it's Take Two. Or the guy who's founded Take Two Interactive. Um, I feel like those ones, you know, where, where you, there might be a lot more like really precise clicks. And like you have items and things like mist you don't really have an item storage and you having to like find an item and then use it on the exact pixel perfect location mist is definitely much more of a uh, puzzle got this as a kid and never fucking got it. yeah yeah honestly I uh, with the announcement of the mist 2 remake that cyan's doing uh, once that is live I am absolutely gonna play that and I'll probably play Mist um, 2, 3, I think it's 2, 3, and 4. The ribbon and that. Yeah, I think 2, 3, and 4 basically I would say completes like a a major storyline and then 5 and 6 are a little different. Actually, I think 6 is the multiplayer one they did for a bit, which is interesting. Hmm. Alright, this one's not failing. Like, none of them have, like, little consoles I can interact with. All right, we just got a bunch of crates against the wall. Maybe if it... No, no, that won't work. I mean, the other thing it mentioned was central product storage. So maybe I need to go to the hub and there's something I can interact with there. Should you do a misplay through on Steam? It is... There is a... Update... Updated one. And I think there is... Like, there's one where it's not a, like... Normal, you know, your point and click on rails. But then they remade it so you can, like, actually walk around on the maps. Which is really nice. Um, lets you be a little bit more immersed in the game. What is this area? Are you just a transition area? Do I need to stab you with my glass? All right, it's just a transition area. The arbor yes, there is. I don't think I played through it on VR, but 
The only thing is like, I don't know. I don't know how well I could stream Mist One because it it is a bit. I say I don't know. A lot of the Mist games are much more like you're just running around. Hmm. It could be just because I've I've played it so much. It's just hard for me to think about what I would say. Or how I would structure things. Give me something. Like what? Where is product storage? Having already forgot that we are the product. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you get something for free, that's because you're the product. I don't like that we're hearing noises from Product Bay 2. I find that extremely concerning. What am I missing here? No. 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 No! I refuse. I don't like that. I don't like that sound. Um, I no longer want to meet anybody. Empty hypodermic syringe. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. We need to simulate a leak in here. We have a wet towel, but there's like nowhere to put the towel to trigger a leak. 